I think the universe is absolutely and utterly giving. I've never seen anybody dedicate themselves to something completely and fail. I've never seen somebody eat right, go to the gym every day, train really hard, and not be in good shape. I've literally never seen it. The universe is extremely giving. If you actually try, and you actually want it, and you're actually not making excuses, lying, talking shit, you're gonna get what you want. So when I see people who don't have what they want, I consider them losers. And this may be elitist, I understand that. But if I put myself through endless pain to end up where I am, it's very hard for me to have sympathy on the man who's afraid of pain. You're avoiding pain. I've been through endless. I now have everything I've ever desired. You have none of the things you desire. Am I supposed to feel sorry for you? Because you took the easy way out? Am I supposed to look at you and go, oh, poor dude? No, you were a fucking coward. You didn't go through the shit I went through. You didn't put it on the line. So you deserve your substandard reality. That's what you deserve, you're a fucking loser. Because if you actually wanted it, and you actually tried, you'd have it. You could have anything you want. Universe is super giving. You want a fucking Ferrari, you can have it. You want that bitch, you can have her. You can have anything you want on the planet. There's not a girl I look at that I want that I can't have. Not one. That's my reality. There's not a car I can't have, there's not a house I can't buy. If I want to go to a yacht, if I want to go to Antarctica, if I want, there's nothing I can't have at a bank. Because I've decided to become this man. It's the same for absolutely every single one of you at home. If you want it, you can have it. If, you, if you're sitting there saying, oh, but I tried my best and I still didn't get it, you're lying. You didn't try your best. That is a fucking lie. The universe gives it to everybody who genuinely tries. And I know that to be a fact because this world's competitive. We're all competing against each other. And the majority of people don't try. Like, I've, I've achieved this amazing life, and I've tried very, very hard. But it could have been harder. I mean, was it that hard? About 86% hard. It wasn't 100% hard. Why? Because the competition's zero. Everyone is a fucking loser. Yeah. It's amazing to me. Everyone's a loser. I can say to somebody, listen, I'll make you a millionaire. Do this. Oh, yeah, but, you know, the kids are home from school. That's it. They're done. And then they'll sit and go, oh, I really wish I had some money. You are a loser. I will sit here on this podcast. People will listen to me for hours. And I will say, listen, I have hundreds of millions of dollars. I will teach you how to make money. Overtake.com, I have a school, university, design specifically to teach you how to make money. I clearly know how to make money. You clearly like what I say. You obviously believe I'm intelligent and integral in my life. And still, a whole bunch of people will sit there and go, hmm next video and then they'll say can't afford a Ferrari and wonder why like they'll be confused in their mind how they didn't end up getting what they want because you're a fucking loser that's why and, and the majority of people are losers and this is goes back to why when we were saying earlier how I know the elites view us because I'm from a council estate in Luton, a single parent household and I've only been rich 10 years or so and I despise you. So imagine you're a billionaire born into a family, a lineage which has controlled Earth for hundreds of years. Imagine how much they despise us. You think they give a fuck about putting a bullet in me? You think they're gonna have any sleep at night, miss? You think they give a solitary fuck about you missing your fucking parents' funeral because of the common cold? They don't give a solitary shit. Why would they? Because I already know how I feel when I listen to losers complain. Because this is what happens at a certain level of competence and power. You just get to a point where you're like, I'm tired of hearing your fucking excuses. That's bullshit. And you become to a degree, yeah, cold and psychopathic. It's true. That's what happens. And I get it all the time. I get thousands of emails a day. Everyone I grew up with, people I know, I get it all the time. They'll message me, hey man, you know, I'm just unlucky. You are not unlucky. You are a lazy fucking loser. That's, that's, you are not unlucky. You're breathing. You're lucky. The unlucky ones are gone. You're alive and you are a lazy loser. So a loser is anybody who does not have everything they want at the drop of a hat. That's who I call a loser. Because I have absolutely everything I could ever possibly desire. And if I wanted something that I couldn't have, I guarantee you we could speak again in a few months and I'm fucking happy. I guarantee you. Because if I want something and I can't have it, I can't sleep. When I was broke, I couldn't sleep. I don't know how there's broke people out here sleeping just fine at night. 